What's up guys, it's me Dayan. So for today's video, I'm gonna be sharing you a way on how to create this honeycomb or hexagon rock here in Revit. So I saw this post in um, Pinterest and it caught up my attention and makes me uh, inspired to model it here in Revit. So before we start, if you are new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell. So that you are always updated every time I upload a new video because I always video like this every week. So since uh, isang, isang furniture yung ating gagawin, I'm gonna be going here on uh, families and then go here on new. So I'm gonna be using this English English template because I'm using the metric system. Pero guys, kung if you are using the... Uh, the imperial which is the feet or inches and gusto nyong i-change yung inyong uh, project units into metric by default meron po akong tutorial dyan at ilalagay ko yung link sa baba so by the way I'm going here and find the metric generic face base okay and then hit open yeah so we are now here inside the Revit so before I start, I'm, I want to set my project units. So for this project, ang gagamitin ko po is millimeters. But still up to you kung saan po kayo mas comfortable, okay? So I'm going here on millimeters, then hit OK, and then again, OK. So maggagawa po ako ng uh, reference plane para hindi tayo mahirapan. So going here on pick lines, and then give the offset of 350 okay and also here so I'm going here on pick lines and give the offset of um, 175 okay. and also dito rin sa baba so we have this so I also want to create again another reference plane para dito sa middle so it is 87.5 So again, I'm going to create again another reference plane from here to there. Again, from here to there. And then select this both reference plane and then mirror it on the other side. Yes. So, and then we now going to create our extrusion. So go here and create extrusion and then gagamitin ko is yung ating pick line so pick this line this line and also this line oops control z or undo again this line this line and another this line so i'm going to use this trimmer extend command or tr for shortcut so para ma remove natin yung excess lines And again, I'm going here again sa ating pick lines and lalagyan ko siya ng offset na 5 millimeters. So, ito yung ating kapal ng um, wood. So, I'm going here and click check. So, punta tayo dito sa ating front elevation. And then, lagyan natin siya ng depth na 200 mm. Okay. So, when we go here on 3D, meron na tayong ganito. So, change natin yung view natin into realistic. Okay. So, we can go back here again on reference plane and then select natin yung ginawa nating extrusion and go here on copy. And then, check, check this uh, multiple. Okay. So, I'm going here and then... Uh, choose natin itong outer face ng ating extrusion para maiwasan natin yung overlapping. So, here. can create. Select this. And then, copy. Then, yan. So, guys, uh, i-point nyo lang siya dun sa middle para ano, saktong-sakto siya. Okay. So, again, I will go here and then copy then choose the outer face and then point again to the middle same as here again same as here same as here oops and guys na, na overlap ko siya so I'm gonna 
press control Z. So, select ulit ako ng panibagong extrusion. And then, i-copy ko siya dito. So, where is your middle? Yan. Okay. So, for example, ito lang muna yung ating kailangan. So, pag pumunta tayo ng 3D, meron na tayong ganito. So, change natin yung ating material. So, click natin itong isang uh, kinawa nating hexagon. And then, go here on materials and finishes and you can find this material. So, click mo itong 3 dots sa gilid para palitan natin yung materials natin. And then, right click mo itong default and then go here on duplicate and then pangalanan na lang natin siya ng wood muna. So, you go here on appearance and then click this replace asset and then magpop up, up yung ating asset browser. And then, you can just simply search this for uh, wood. Okay, so ito muna ang gagamitin ko, birch wood. So, double click and then close this one. Go here on graphics, use render appearance and then go here in. Go here on apply and then hit OK. Yes, so hindi siya nag-adapt. Kung hindi nag-adapt, balikan mo lang yung uh, ginawa mong material. Go here again on materials and finishes. And then choose your wood. Okay, so nag-adapt na siya. You can select all your extrusion and then press your shift key para i-unselect itong isa. So, you can go here now on material and then change your material into wood. So, now we have this. So, itry naman na natin siyang i-load sa project. So, go here on file new and then go here on project so i'm gonna be choosing this architectural template then hit okay so yan gagawa lang ako ng wall dito and then sige set ko na siya into level 2 okay so go back here again sa ginawa mong family and then load it load it into project And go here on 3D view. Yeah. So, ito na siya. So, we have this. So, change na lang natin yung view natin into realistic. Okay. Now, we have our honeycomb rock. So, try natin maglagay na lang ng additional components. So, go here on insert. And then, load family. So, nag-download po ako kanina ng family which is the wine bottle. So, click open. Okay. Simply press CM. So, yan. Pwede na natin siyang maitry. Okay. Now, we have our honeycomb hexagon rock. So again, ayun lang po guys, if you found this video helpful, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It will helps me out a lot para makapag-produce pa ng mga ganitong helpful videos. And if you have any suggestions, comments, or questions, you can leave that on the comment section below. And I will try to answer those questions. Again, thank you and God bless.